I'm back at home. So today, two things happen. Two major things happen. Uh, one is the uh, the Vivo V11 product launch. Uh, I got to attend, got to play around with the product. I would say it's quite impressive. But reviews are coming up in about two weeks' time. So stay tuned. Number two, I got to walk around Cytex. I hope you've enjoyed the footage just now that we were rolling. Well, for this wrap up, I'm going to just mention and highlight some of the booths that you must go because you have two days. You got Saturday and Sunday, just two more days to go, which is perfect because it's coincidental. It's, it coincides with uh, at least two big sales that's happening at the moment. Number one is Black Friday. Number two, it's Cyber Monday. So all in all, it's really crunch in between these two dates and I'm sure you're gonna get great deals out of uh, just going to Cytex. All right, the five booths that I wanna highlight, uh, give a shout out. Number one, it's Jaben, my favorite audio store. They have a booth in Cytex and they have deals, crazy deals going on. They got like 10% off on all Sure products and they even brought in new Grado Bluetooth headphones. I, I got to try it out. It sounds fantastic. It's out of this world, all right? Number three, Claire was there. Claire immediately identified me and she was like, hey, you've got to try this. And she was picking up a CIEM, a custom India monitors. It looks great. And when I immediately tried it on, uh, again, I was blown away. It sounded damn good for such a small thing. The sound stage is whoa. So do visit Javen, you will not regret it. All right, number two, brother, the printer uh, manufacturer. So I walked past it and something caught my eye. I was looking at it and I saw a stitching sew sewing machine, a stitching machine, right? So at the, at the right of this machine, there's uh, like a display that popped out and you can choose what kind of stitching or sewing that you want to do so you input your your options and then it started to automatically stitch on whatever fabric that you fit into the machine so just now i was looking at it it was stitching some very cute santa claus uh, logo or graphics and i thought it was kind of high tech for something that's very old school you know sewing I've never imagined sewing to be high-tech as this one. So do uh, look out for it and yeah, you might be blown away as I was. All right, number three, you need to visit the Aztec booth. Okay, Aztec, currently they've uh, changed their direction. They're heading towards more and more smart home innovations and smart devices. So if you are there, do check their devices because I also got myself a one of their latest, uh, what is this, Smart IR Cube. Okay, it's called Kyla or Kila or yeah, probably Kyla or Kila. So this smart IR cube, what is what it does is that it will control any of your devices, any of your uh, electrical appliances or electronics that's in your room or your house. 
anything that's powered by IR or remotely controlled by IR, um, infrared, this thing, this baby, it can control it for you as well. And what I've learned is that it's compatible with Google Assistant, Siri, as well as Alexa. So, you know, you can never go wrong with these kind of things. All right, uh, there's this booth. I've forgotten what the name was, but it has tons and tons of drones from China. It's all China brand. They've also got DJIs. Uh, and they've also got gimbals, all sorts of gimbals, but the ones that I saw or really get to play around with are the Feiyi and the DJI Osmos and Ronin. And I think this booth is like your all-in-one stop for drones as well as gimbal. If you are looking for those kind of things, make sure you visit this booth. This booth, I, again, I've forgotten what the name was, but it's just beside uh, Epson booth. So if you're there, the kids, the kids, all right, I'm saying kids, the kids who are at the booth, they were helping and telling people what these products are. And my God, they are all 16 year olds and they know their products really, really well. Like, damn well, okay? Their product knowledge is high up there. And lastly, this is not really a booth that sells stuff, no products there. It's just a booth where uh, they have some retro games or very old school games that they've displayed so all you need to do is just you know see any empty seats empty chairs just sit down and face the monitor and the monitor is not even these uh, modern ones you know they, they've, they've stuck to the retro theme and they've got the CRT yes the big butt TV you know the ones with the fat ones yeah so they've used this kind of uh, monitors the CRT monitors and they hooked their whatever game console it is 